There is so much to know about car insurance that Mike Schaefer actually wrote a book about it. So we're going to get kind of an elevator speech on this book. It's called <laughs> What You Don't Know About Car Insurance Can Hurt You. And I do believe that after having a brief conversation. Welcome back to the show with uh, Mike. Appreciate you coming on. Hey, thanks for having me again, John. And what you don't know can definitely hurt you in car insurance because the reason I wrote this book is most insurance agents are um, selling insurance to get you the cheapest price of insurance and knowing the right questions to ask you can get much much better coverage that will protect you and your family if you ever are in a catastrophic accident and that's what insurance is all about it's protection for you uh, and your assets but mainly you individually is the way I look at it. That, that, that makes sense and, and Mike I'm, I'm curious so to me, it seems obvious, but tell me, what inspired you to write this book? Being an injury lawyer, it's vital that you know a lot about insurance because you deal with insurance companies a lot, right? Well, I, I deal with insurance companies every day. We ha we're on the phone with insurance companies every day, setting up claims, settling claims if we can. But the, the real reason I wrote the book is because there are so many instances when I have a client that comes in with very, very serious injuries and the person that caused the wreck either had no insurance or had the state minimums. And the state minimum insurance in Kentucky is $25,000. And if you can't work for six months as a result of a wreck or have a serious problem or, you know, are killed, $25,000 is nothing. Yeah. And so many people did not have coverage that would help them out down the road such as uninsured motorist coverage or underinsured motorist coverage. So many people just have no idea and their insurance agents aren't telling them uh, about this coverage or how they can raise the coverage for virtually insignificant additional premium. So you have definitely established how important it is to have the right insurance. So let's talk about the right insurance coverage. What, let's talk about some recommendations from you. Well, I mean, the, the main thing that you want to look at is you want to have underinsured and uninsured motorist coverage. And what this means, most of the time you get liability coverage. That protects the individual that you hit. So if you cause the wreck and you hurt somebody else, liability coverage is going to take care of that individual. They're, it's going to pay up to whatever the limits are, uh, depending on the injury. So 25000 if that's the max, that's the amount that it would pay. Now, uninsured motorist coverage, well, or, or un underinsured, takes care of you and your family. If somebody hits you and they don't have insurance, uninsured motorist coverage will take care of you. If you don't have uninsured motorist coverage, the only thing you can do is go after the individual's assets that hit you. If, they didn't, if they're not paying for insurance, they the chances of them have. having a house or anything that you know, I could attach for your benefit is minimal and you're going to end up walking away with nothing. Same thing on underinsured where they might have the 25,000 minimum limits, but if you're out of work for six months and have a broken leg or some very serious injury, 25,000 isn't going to take it. So you need to raise that as much as possible and it doesn't cost that much more money to raise those coverages. So you find value there. Oh, absolutely. That insurance. Okay. And I have a chart in the back of the book that shows the an example of increases where you might have say a twenty five thousand dollar underinsured motorist coverage and it might be twelve fifty for every six months or twenty five say twenty five dollars for every six months you raise that up to a hundred thousand it doesn't quadruple it goes up maybe four dollars oh. for the policy period so it doesn't go up incrementally Good to know. You know, you hope that an accident doesn't happen, but this oh, is good information. That's what we yes. all pray for. That's what we, exactly what we all pray for. Okay, let's talk about liability, collision, property damage. The, those are all the different types of uh, coverages that you want to look at, and that's part of what people think of when they hear the term full coverage, you know, but there's really no such thing as full coverage with insurance companies. They, every insurance company has a different um, definition of it. I had a client in my office just yesterday and she was talking about the fact that she had requested full coverage and she had pretty good insurance coverage but they saved her two dollars and twenty six cents every six months off the premium and she didn't have rental coverage so the car that hit her didn't have insurance 
So she had no way of getting a rental vehicle except for paying for it out of pocket uh, with her, uh, you know, when, while her car was getting fixed because of the uninsured issue. Okay. So uh, you, you, you got you to know each one of these coverages and ask if that is on your I, I, policy. I'm thinking we need a copy of this book. I, and, Question for you off script here. Okay, we've all seen the little gecko lizard. We've, we've, we, you know, we know about our good neighbor. We're not mentioning names here, but is it smart to go with a large insurance company? Do they have access to better types of insurance for less dollars? Uh, you can. Those insurance companies will all give you the coverage that you need. Personally, I go with an insurance broker um, that uh, brokers for very uh, different insurance companies that you may not have heard of. They may specialize in something you need, right? Well, they may specialize in something you need, but they can give you a cheaper rate for the same coverage. So, you know, some insurance uh, companies, they spend their money on TV ads to get the business. The others go through agents, and they can give you the same coverage for less. Makes sense. So, you know, it's all value for the dollar, and then that's gotcha. what I'm about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm about that as well. I think we are about a budget. Okay, so you and I had a brief conversation about umbrella coverage, and you really enlightened me. I didn't realize, I didn't know anything about this. Talk a little bit about this. Uh, Share that. One of the things, before I got into this business, you know, I, I knew what an umbrella policy was. That would protect me if I do something stupid, would protect my assets and pay for the other individual. One thing I did not know is um, you can get a rider on your umbrella policy for uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage. So if you have a $300,000 policy, which is the most for liability and uninsured, underinsured, which in my opinion is still yeah. low if you're catastrophically injured, for a rider of maybe $100 a year, you can take your umbrella policy and make that an underinsured, uninsured motorist policy too, so where you can get a million dollars on top of the 300000 which is getting closer to be able to protect you if an uninsured driver hits you. And again, we can't stress this enough. We hope it never happens, but if it does, it's nice to know, hey, my family is not going to stress out. I right. have us covered, and that's what it's all about. If someone wanted a copy of this book, Mike, because I do think, I didn't realize there's so much to know, and the right coverage in the, at the wrong time is important. Right. So let's talk about that. If they, want, if they want to get a copy of this book, how do they do that? Uh, just go to my website, MikeSchaeferLaw.com, and uh, you can go to the resources page and request a copy, and we'll mail it to you. No questions asked, just for being a listener here uh, to Wave Listens. So I appreciate that, Mike, and, and you, you're a wealth of knowledge. So if someone happens to be in knock on wood, as we mentioned again and again, we hope it doesn't happen, but if, it, if, you, if you are in a car accident and they want to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, I like your style, you're knowledgeable about a number of topics, all which involve people who are in car accidents. You, is it a one-on-one -on -one consultation? Should they call you immediately? Should they put your phone number in? I, it's almost like put it in your glove box. I have people that call me from the scene of the wreck and they'll and we can give them information you know the main thing if you're at the scene of the you know when you're in a wreck is to take care of yourself make sure you're getting the attention put yourself in a safe situation uh, but you know within a day or two i i recommend to call me or another attorney if, if that's your preference but get some advice before the insurance company starts calling you and asking you questions because the truth is the truth is the truth but sometimes the way you tell the truth can make a difference. There you go, that's good advice because if, if they call you and ask questions, have your attorney handle it because like you said, they could take something that you said and totally twist that and right. that, that's their job, right? Yeah, and the thing that we like to do is you, you should concentrate on getting well if you've been in a wreck. We take care of all the background, you know, setting up the, the uh, claim, talking to the insurance company and and taking care of all that behind the scenes stuff that you don't want to deal with. All right, once again, it's the Schaefer Law Office. He is Mike Schaefer. And again, if you'd like a copy of his book, go to his website. What you don't know about car insurance can hurt you.